with the ever-increasing rise in both personal computer and internet penetration, online privacy is an issue that has been receiving a great deal of media coverage in the past few years. Social networking site users are warned not to give out their home addresses online. Consumers are warned against using overly simple passwords in their e-banking accounts. And virtually everyone is cautioned against believing those annoying pop-up messages promising the deliverance of large sums of money upon the provision of one's bank account number. So, with all of these sources telling us how not to fall victim to invasions of privacy, one might tend to think that internet users are becoming paranoid, always suspecting that an invasion of privacy is lurking around every digital corner. But is this really the case? Are internet users really as cautious about all of these privacy issues as the media suggests they should be? Well. Academic research tells us that no, they're not, not even close. To name just one example, a 2007 study out of the New Jersey Institute of Technology found that when social networking site users wanted to strike up an online friendship with one another, regardless of age, trust was significantly less necessary in the formation of that relationship than it would be if those two people were forming a face-to-face -face relationship. And another, more recent study conducted by Ofcom, an independent regulatory body for the UK's communications industry, found that age is a significant factor in the level of concern over online privacy. Adolescents, who tend to feed off peer pressure and the bandwagon phenomenon, tend to be both less concerned and less cautious about the protection of their personal details, while adults, digital immigrants who tend to be intimidated by technology in general, are more cautious all around. But do these findings hold true in Hong Kong? Are the youth of our city reckless with their details online? Let's talk to some people and find out. <笑>片段你自己拍的照片<笑> 你有沒有想過如何可以保護你這些私人資料啊<笑><笑><笑> I'm Jody. I'm concerned about the online safety because some of my friends' Facebook accounts has been stolen by others, and after that, I've been receiving those junk mails from them. It's really annoying, so I'm really concerned about that. In order to protect my accounts, I try to set up my password really complicated, like a mixture of letters and digits, and never use real names or birthday numbers with that. sensitive information. Um, now I guess that depends, what do I mean by sensitive information? Uh, well, in some people they'll think that you talk about where you went for lunch is sensitive information. I don't think so. I think daily existence is mundane and boring and regular, so they'll tell everybody about it. I think there's, there's certain boundaries. What happens inside the bedroom, we're not going to talk about. What happens inside, deep inside our hearts, we're not going to talk We protect about. our privacy so. by just simply not giving out specific information, some information. Other than that, I don't care. Really, I don't care. The world can know where I live, um, that who my wife is, who my baby is, where I work. I don't care. Nobody cares anyways. I mean, really. I'm not going to share my credit card information. 
my sexual preferences, um, how much money I earn. Those things are private. Everything else, nobody cares, really. Nobody cares. So what does it matter if I share it on, on you Facebook? Know, what are they going to do? Uh, blackmail me for, for going to a restaurant? Uh, come on, people are too worried, I think. If you're, if you're a smart person, you won't put information like credit card information, mm -hmm. um, maybe home address, maybe phone number, um, but that's your choice. I don't care. You, my phone number's on Facebook. Give me a call if you want. So what do these findings tell us? Well, for one, they indicate that internet users' privacy concerns are not as well-rounded as they perhaps should be. Most of these interviewees only indicated one area in which they were concerned about protecting their privacy, if at all, and most of them were very specific to certain sites, such as Facebook. These findings also corroborate other research studies in that they indicate that age plays a significant role in not only how concerned users are about their privacy, but also which aspects of it they're concerned about. We've all heard it a million times. Don't give out your personal details, don't choose a simple password, be careful who you befriend online, and we think we know it all. But these interviews confirm that although we've heard it all a million times, perhaps we haven't listened a million times. <laughs> Okay,